If you are in the AI space, you're probably wondering what the heck QAR is. This is probably the first time an AI research topic has generated so much discussion with so little information. It became popular a few days before Sam was fired, when a few researchers sent the board a letter warning about a powerful AI discovery that, they said, could impact humanity. Mira informed employees on Wednesday that this AI breakthrough, which they called QAR, precipitated Sam's firing. At this point, there are tons of different speculations about what QAR is. No one really knows for sure. All of them are just speculation. One of the most exciting versions I heard is that OpenAI developed an AlphaGo type of reinforcement learning framework that can be used to significantly improve the logic and reasoning of the logic NAR model. Whether this is true or not, it is a super exciting concept because it represents a potential path for AI to achieve superhuman level intelligence. To better understand, I want to get back to the basics about reinforcement learning. What it is, how it achieved superhuman level intelligence in certain tasks before, and how it can potentially be adopted for large language models. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning framework that allows AI to learn from its own trials and errors, rewarding or penalizing itself along the way. It's somewhat like teaching your dog a trick. It normally has a few key components, an agent that interacts with an environment which can be anything from a video game to a simulation, and an environment like a maze or a game like chess or go. The agent takes actions within this environment, and after each action, it finds itself in a new state, like a new chessboard configuration. The agent also receives rewards or penalties, helping it determine whether its actions are contributing to its goals. Over time, the goal of a reinforcement learning system is to develop a strategy for deciding which actions to take in a given state to maximize future rewards. This decision-making engine is called a policy network. One tricky part of reinforcement learning is the reward system. In many scenarios, the agent doesn't receive immediate rewards or feedback after taking an action. In chess or go, for example, you only know if you've won after the game finishes. This is where the value network comes in. It helps evaluate the total future rewards if the agent takes a certain action. At a high level, the policy network proposes actions the agent can take, and the value network estimates the value of those actions. They reinforce each other, improving the agent's decision-making quality over time. Now, if you want to learn more, I'd recommend watching Steve's videos. He deep dives into the space of reinforcement learning. Once the system is developed, it's incredibly powerful. It self plays and experiments with thousands, even millions of variations, discovering new methods and strategies. A great example of this is AlphaGo. It showcased an AI exploring strategies never used before. AlphaGo's three main components are a policy network trained on high-level games, a value network that evaluates board positions and winning probabilities, and a tree search that explores different game variations. In the context of large language models like GPT, the hypothesis is that OpenAI might have developed a similar architecture to improve GPT's reasoning and logic. This involves using a policy network, a tree of sorts, and a value network to refine the reasoning process. This approach differs from the commonly used reinforcement learning from human feedback, where a human evaluates the AI's output. Instead, another large language model reviews and critiques each reasoning step. In conclusion, while QAR remains a mystery, understanding reinforcement learning can paint a different picture of AI's future. It's not too hard to get started in this field. For example, there's an open source project by Patrick for a reinforcement learning AI that learns to play the snake game. It's a great way to dip your toes into AI. Please subscribe if you enjoy this content and let me know your thoughts on QAR after OpenAI's announcement. Thank you and see you next time.